This is a quick lesson in simplicity. What you see here is a uh, quarter inch stainless steel shaft and two ball bearings. It's about as simple a thing as you can make that's, you know, that rotates. If you were to make a motor and you wanted to make the world's simplest motor, you know, a real Zen motor, you would want it to have as few parts as possible. But to be a motor, it's got to rotate. So in order to rotate, you're going to have to have a shaft and two bearings. You can't use just one bearing. You have to have a shaft and two bearings. So that's what we have here. The skeleton, the skeleton of a motor. Now, you might think, well, that's special, but you know, what's the point? The point is that despite the simplicity of this device, and the fact that it looks like I'm making a whole video out of something completely stupid is that you should never ever underestimate simplicity. There's an incredible complexity in simplicity. And I'm going to show you here in about 10 more seconds exactly what I'm talking about. Because this is a completely finished running electric motor. All I have to do is hook a wire to here and to here. Even though, you know, it's a stainless steel shaft, the shaft is a dead short and there are, you know, stainless steel bearings. When I hook power to this and start it, it's gonna run. So despite the fact there's no electric wires, there's no coils, and there's no magnets, and it's all stainless steel, uh, I'm going to make it run. So watch, here we go. We'll make that the negative. This is a 6 volt battery. make this the positive. Now this will rotate in either direction. It doesn't care. It's which whichever way you self start it. And there you have it. You just watch that work with no wires, no magnets, no coils. It's just proof that not everything simple is really simple. So remember that. And have a great day.